Chris, I have some terms that I would like Oi. to add to the encyclopedia. I see you! You left out some terms! Gasoline powered vape. That's such a tasty thing. Oi, so I saw your video, and I'd like to raise you, I'd like to add some more. But with multi-maxing. Multi-maxing is a form of improving yourself by multiple maxim strategies combined into one. Example would be a career max, improving yourself through a career, but that's really a status max and a money max. The multi-maxing thing is a multiplicative property, so you combine three maxes and it's more, it is worth more than three single maxes added together. Merge them all together for the multiplicative property. The pink pill is often defined in opposition to the black pill, but that's just a massive cope. For cis film cells, it's primarily used in the, in, in the film cell in cellosphere to reject the platitudes directed at women, to highlight the prevalence of mental cells within the film community, or as a direct female equivalent of the black pill, except with the hopeless incels consisting solely of film cells. For incels, however, the pink pill refers to a white pill, actually. The white pill is sometimes associated with stoic cells, those that have come to terms with their inceldom and no longer feel nihilism and remorse about it. They seek to live as good of a life as possible within those constraints. The pink pill refers to the belief that pursuing feminine appearance, gender roles, and or feminine hormone body makeup composition will generate an improvement in the life of you, the average incel. This is in part due to the strict adherence to the decal scale, but also, 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 the avopsych theory. Free woman is higher on this scale in terms of everybody else than a free male. Become a free female, not a free male. Sometimes, the pink pill can lead to, to, lead to the creation of trans fem cells, which is often shortened to just trans cell or just fem cell. Other times, this leads to ascension. Ascension is the term for when the incel finally ascends their social status and stops being an incel. It's the de process in action. This is often seen as a descriptive label for those who find themselves disillusioned with the idea of pursuing further masculinity and trying to become the alpha man. Why become the alpha man when you can become the Becky or Stacy with the alpha man? If you don't like maleness and you don't like masculinity cope, then go pursue some femininity cope. Some who choose to take Neo's pink pill will find themselves doing something referred to as transmaxing. Transmaxing is often referred to as the incel transbian pipeline. However, however, that has not been studied as in depth as you would like to believe, I imagine. Transmaxing is a multi-max. Multi-maxing is a form of improving yourself by multiple maxim strategies combined into one. Dedicated for those who do not desire to further their masculinization. If you desire to not further masculinize, you should transmax. Transmaxing has pretty boy maxing, where you remain as a male gender social role in your boy mode. You just medically transition. And it also has the true transmaxing. True transmaxing is when you take the hormones, you change yourself in the public, you get all the benefits of femininity, and you also receive all the negatives of trans femininity. However, the negatives of trans femininity and femininity are better than dealing with the masculinity. Often, someone going through a trans max will partake in multiple of the following things. Looks maxing, both soft and hard maxing. Med maxing, both anti-androgen maxing and estrogen maxing and also other forms of maxing sometimes. Sometimes, the, these, these trans people, they go to the doctor and realize there's more wrong with them than they initially thought. Therapy maxing. This is all kinds of therapy. Talk therapy, art therapy, EMDR therapy, estrogen therapy, feminizing therapy, all of the therapies. Often, therapy is required for the gender dysphoria diagnosis to get you your feminizing hormones. 
this is a gauge cap thing and why we do not support big pharma. Trends maxing is also a form of status maxing. I asked the best source I could for this. I asked many incels, who is better, an incel or a tranny? And you know what they told me? They told me a tranny is better every single time. So therefore, trans maxing is an upgraded status over incel maxing. In addition, some do claim that the potentials for money maxing are greater as a trans maxer than as a male in certain industries specifically. This has not been studied enough either. I don't know. A trans cell. In a similar way that maxes can be multi-maxes, cells can also be multi-cells. Those who find themselves as trans cells are often still cells, but not because of the trans. Trans cells are often vol cells. The voluntary celibate. Voluntary celibates, or vol cells, do not have sex because they choose to. They don't want to to sleep with anybody else after sleeping with themselves. Their mental cells. Mental cell is a broad term for anybody who is rendered incelibate due to a mental condition, whether that is PTSD or autism or schizophrenia. Just because the transgender doesn't mean they're well mentaled, many of the incel community is likely mental celled and autism celled, which is reflective of a lot of the trans community as well. They could be trauma cells, or they could have some other reason for the celibacy, other than transgenderism, transsexualism, transvestitism. One other term that I'd like to build on from J. Regular. Some terms that I would like to add to the encyclopedia, if you would have it. Incelerationism is an accelerationist incel philosophy that seeks to accrue a critical mass of incels to make the beta uprising happen even quicker. Thus, instead of fixing the incel problem, they seek to create more and more incels, such that eventually they hit a critical mass of incels and destroy the chat. Uh, J. Regular mentioned this term called the incel incelizationism. It's like accelerationism for incels, where all the incels, they keep making them, and then the incels take over. They reach the beta box hypothesis, the beta male uprising. I would like to add that the trans maxing ideology is part of the de incelizationism path line. Inceleration. We are looking to take incels out of the incel space. Why, you might ask? Because they deserve to be beautiful girls in the society that we live in, rather than incels. Well, Cheerio, Pirio. That is all. Thank you, and good night.